everyone welcome back to the channel i am speedy said i bought a tech air tech air 7 jacket from alpine and thought to do a open box review and see what comes with it so let's go ahead open the box so here's the jacket and let's see oops So it came with a wire, booklet, which is user manual, and this tool. Only thing I can think of what is this is maybe uh, when you're replacing the canister, you either need this tool to open it, but it doesn't look like open. Um, maybe you have to put it in there after the accident, maybe you have to carry this thing together. I'll see what's in the says in the user manual and we take it from there. So when your jacket comes, uh, you cannot activate the jacket because the battery is disconnected. So what do you have to do for the battery? is open this panel and I went ahead um, reconnected this wire if you can see it right there this small fire you gotta connect it once you connect it you will see a light here to go alive so let's go ahead disconnect this wire So I went ahead connected the wire, see the red light came back on. And this is for the safety because it cuts shift from the truck or airplane. And Alpine doesn't want to uh, back airbag to go uh, go off accidentally. And you should be doing the same thing when you're traveling uh, while not using it. So it went ahead, it got activated. So let's pop the cover. A lot of people smack that. I've seen few videos. Instead of that, just pull that, gently press it in, so you're not breaking any tabs. Once you do that, and... Oh, after connecting the battery, it goes through a few cycles here, to make sure everything is okay, the checks, and... Once you connect, there you go. It's going through a test cycle, and it should go green. Uh, for this jacket to charge um, the wire it came f with this one I had to look at in the manual how to charge it and I was looking all over uh, and it turned out to be the charging port is hidden right there uh, I don't know if you can see that right there uh, right there so you need to plug this jacket in um, as after you get it, uh, because it's not going to have enough charge for you to go on ride right away. So give it an hour, that will give you 7 to 8 hours, uh, roughly a ride time. So once your jacket is powered on, uh, just go ahead and install the uh, Tech Air application on your phone. And add the uh, your jacket in there. I already did the steps so I can't show you uh, without removing it so the jacket has to be powered on first then go ahead uh, add uh, the jacket and you will see a plus sign and you have to sc scan the barcode on the top left uh, for me it did not work for some reason so I had to enter, manually enter the uh, serial number so I did that and uh, let me add the jacket in there. So once you do that, um, I was a bit trying to figure out how to do that. Is let's see. So my jacket was in the uh, race mode when it came out the box. So to change that, I thought you have to click here, hit there somewhere. Oh, connect the system. So mine is connected. You can see that uh, it's showing the battery and then it's connected and it's in the uh, race mode again i don't know why it went back to race mode to change that 
you go to writing mode and change it to street so once that is done and it should be in the street mode and there you go um, to add the app once uh, that is part is done you gotta you can update the app like software and it's saying system is already updated to the latest patch so I'm good to go I don't have to do anything if you have a patch or update you can uh, click an update and we'll go through an update but make sure your jacket is fully charged before you do all that work you don't want the system re or your jacket disconnecting whilst halfway through patching uh, it may cause some problems you have to ship your jacket out probably and there you have it I hope you enjoyed the video